Hello friends and traders, it's Nick here and before we are going to do our weekly analysis I will update you on some uh, swing trades that are running for a couple of weeks already. Uh, so first of all we have our Euro Aussie weekly long bounce trade on the weekly support line. Uh, updated uh, this video a couple of times in here. That is the last video let's say for now. Um, for this week, depending on what's going on, I will, I will update you on this one later on. <clears throat> so, the Euro Australian dollar weekly chart, three touches, bounce on lower time frame entries. Of course, we had a nice move up of almost 600 plus pips actually, yeah, 600 plus pips. Uh, the daily trend line also broke, which was a good sign for the longs. And because we had a kind of a range here before the weekend, like yesterday, sorry, on Friday, I hedged up this position, uh, being also short at the same time, like having the swing long and again hedged up with uh, actually two lots, two uh, um, times the original size. So in case it's going down on Monday, Tuesday, uh, I can take incremental profits and if it's going to bounce back off I can get rid of the existing uh, remaining short and leave the long open according to the hedging rules. But uh, um, in case it doesn't retrace or we see it's really moving higher we quickly get rid of that position and uh, immediately um, just uh, I mean, rid of both positions, right? And leave just the long running, of course, because again, if you look at the weekly chart, that looks promising. Price could, if it's breaking also the 36, go back up to this area or even the one, what is it, 149, 150 area, right? Or even trying to find 155 here. Uh, that could take weeks or months, it doesn't matter. It's a big. Uh, it's a position that is staying in for as long as possible. It's a swing trade, a day trade turning into a swing trade, and actually, then or already turning into a position trade. If that breaks, really the 36, and it's not bouncing off it. Now, because of the weekend, I hedged up, but we'll see what happens next week. That's the update for this one. And the good thing about hedging, I have to again um, put emphasis on it, is that it doesn't matter what you do if you know the rules and you don't trade, of course, crazy lots. Uh, if it goes against you, if it's bouncing in this area of resistance, uh, uh, it might come down a little bit or even a little bit more. And then it doesn't matter really because you are hedged up with over 500 in this case over what almost yeah 550 pips so if the price comes down you're milking the market on the retracement take incremental profits leave 0 0.30 in this case running and if it's bouncing back up you get rid of this as i said keep this and then the long start making profits again so it's that that's the only way Hedging makes sense yeah, if you have a position that is already making profits and you're trying on the retracement to milk the markets without getting rid of a big position trade. Okay, just a reminder. Now the Euro Canadian dollar weekly chart. Here we have another example. We had the nice bounce along. Okay, price went up on the weekly chart and what happened? It hit the 36 EMA. That was our daily resistance line. But remember, the 36 is our guide. And if the price likes the 36 and it's bouncing in this area, what happens? Um, uh, it, it's, it counts as a trend line, right? It's, it's, it's an additional trend line to our existing ones. And if you have the 36 EMA and the trend line in one area, then you know uh, this is very important. Now, in this case, the, th the trend line is a little bit higher, but it doesn't matter. You see the price likes the retracements there, and it bounced on the 633 on the weekly support line. We took our longs, price reached this area, and then uh, what I did here, I hedged up on the lower time frames. When it moved lower, I got rid of the longs because 
now everything was pointing down again it's not that the price broke the resistance line right it's still a lower low lower high a short one two three so what happened i got rid of the longs and kept uh the short and i mean the long was only a small remaining position because the price didn't really move higher so i hedged it up with a small position again again it doesn't matter it's still down 280 points if that breaks now the weekly support line we have to watch closely because that's a weekly line if it's bouncing on it great we can hedge up again or we get rid of this uh, short and take longs but if it's breaking on monday then we know we, we might have a weekly support line break and that could mean more shorts more setups later on right so that's another good example the USD CHF uh, here price is moving up and up it's just uh, moving higher um, but what we don't ignore is the 200 EMA as you can see price always bounced on the 200 EMA on the weekly chart and the price moved away from it comes back and is touching the 200 EMA again so this is um, remember generally the rule says that if the price comes from far away touching the 200 we see kind of a bounce in this area usually okay we still have our filters to enter but we watch closely now if that's staying over the 200 EMA no problem sorry for the background noise by the way um, <coughs> if it breaks it okay then of course we don't do anything the four hour each, uh, daily chart is our guide sorry and I still have the long using the four hourly chart entry here but the stop is already trailed about 70 pips in profit if you check the four hourly chart you'll see price likes to bounce again on the 36 EMA and after this range we have also kind of a support here uh, as long as the price bounces on this line and creates higher points no reason for us to get out of this trade you could also take of course your stop loss place it a little bit higher we can do it over the weekend but you understand what i mean um on monday if the price moves higher so for now we watch out for this if the price breaks the daily line we look again for long setups here don't forget to draw your new trend lines if the price is steep and moving up okay now um that was it actually the the, the update <clears throat> now we continue with our weekly forecast let's say and that's the euro the euro i tried aggressively to bounce long already uh one at 129 um on the four hourly chart it didn't work so i had to get rid of the uh, sh longs immediately the pressure is there everybody who's short uh, with the main trend not against it as i tried last time with the main trend <coughs> makes a lot of profits still next support 1.2780 uh or 128 let's say but i like the 80 numbers 2780 2880 because that's an area where the euro US dollar often likes to to retrace or bounce on support and resistance and then the next one would be 126.50 but we watch closely here we have a lot of horizontal support it is also round number the 128 area see what happens you see on the daily chart still pointing down and created this retracement to here the price loves the 12 EMA on the daily and on the four hour it loves the 36 EMA so was squeezed between support and resistance couldn't really break it and then it came down so no longs at all not even the aggressive ones worked out a bit so again main trend main trend is short you trade shorts as long as you get lower highs lower lows and if we get a good bounce ideally more conservatively you want to wait for the price to break that line create a higher high high low over there and then you look for longs okay so keep an eye on this one very important close to support uh, gbp us dollar uh, of course daily one two three you see the the news with scotland it didn't really change anything the pri uh, the market didn't react uh, like crazy as expected so um, the 36 again is your guide 
this existing trend line but you see the price bounced on the 36 almost by the pip retraced back now so what you need to do is draw your lines like this remember the rules and if that breaks you have you might want to look for lower time frame entries to short it again but wait for Monday uh, it's might you know this could also be kind of a fake big retracement in the end move higher so watch closely uh, GP JPY sorry have some old lines here broke out as we said last time we wanted to see this breakout which looks very promising on the weekly chart but we need to see this retracement we will have a nice support line the major trend is still still long so what we really want is a setup on the daily chart let the price retrace using previous resistance and support if it's bouncing in this area we we can look for longs again in case it's coming back below 175 then forget it uh, the long scenario would be out of the window and we might have to look for shorts but only lower time frames because our weekly support is very close so watch out don't be too hasty here same almost with the euro yen um, in, you know, I mean, not in case of uh, the range or something, but just uh, retracing. Uh, I mean, so it's retracing on the daily chart. We still need to see at some point that one, two, three. We didn't get any. Uh, you see, we had this range. Price could move lower. It broke horizontal resistance. This range broke the trend line and just moved up. So on the four hourly chart, steep setups which still work nicely but now we have uh, price coming back so ideally only aggressive long bounce trades or in case the price really breaks the 36 for good you need to see this on a one hourly four hour chart, uh, chart to trade against the main trend trying to target that line and then on the daily chart that would appear as a big ABC or one two three like a good retracement on the daily then you can start looking for longs if it's bouncing on this air in this area now the USD yen still pushing up 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 and the good thing about that is that every bounce on lower time frames just works out in the main direction which is wonderful uh, the guys that have the position trade since down here probably very very happy seeing over 700 points so well done also thanks for the charts you send over keep you know tracking this don't close the position hedge it up in case it's going down but don't close it remember the weekly chart it could just go up and up like it did here or here so even more um, now Aussie US dollar still pointing down there's no reason right now to look for long still short short shorts it's reaching of course horizontal support and next week you know like the euro US dollar and some other pairs watch out we might see bounces there against the main trend maybe opportunities to trade long in this area GBPCHF daily chart look at this um, price hit the previous highs but it also retraced quickly giving us a big spike on the daily so we want to be careful here uh, watch out draw your support lines and it would be like this close to the 36 so we expect that if the price stops there spikes and bounces you have yourself probably an aggressive bounce trade because it's below this horizontal resistance line but it doesn't really matter uh, because it broke already the trend line so pay attention to the main move and volatility so if that's moving bouncing here in combination with this and the 36 and the three touches might move up higher okay so you might see opportunities to trade long if it's breaking down again coming back here you forget the longs look for a clean direction first now cut CHF again here look at the daily chart moving up quickly one two threes bounces still trading higher points on the chart this is a clean trend change since uh, spring early spring right so it's still up and up and up there's nothing else to do just track the touches on the 36 
and as long as it's trading higher highs focus on longs after the next retracement not right now in the middle of nowhere of course uh, we also have the Aussie yen one two three over resistance previous uh, resistance acting as support here you can also draw some lines it doesn't really matter the lines exist still below the price so this line or this line who cares it's more or less the same uh, it's far away anyway and ideally we want that to see to move higher so the daily chart the bounce trades already on a combination of horizontal support and this one uh, but uh, also the daily chart is off which is very steep I don't really like to do that these steep setups but some of you do so no problem you can also look for lower time frame entries again if like for instance bouncing again a bounce trade or maybe uh, lower time frame combinations like four hourly one hourly and five minute charts to enter with a small stop to ensure a win-win scenario quickly so you can do whatever you like as long as it is with the main trend okay Aussie CAD broke the wedge on the weekly very very powerful breakdown it's really like it's crashing look at that 400 something points let me see at the four hour let me look at the four hourly chart um, <coughs> it's just short right so nothing yet on the one hourly chart you see all the bounces on the 36 as long as the price is bouncing there look at how many touches you get a new steep move even here in that steep move down it stopped it spiked moved lower short 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 nothing else right now only watch out you know for horizontal support but this is not really close by you have a little bit here but the major support would be probably the 633 or even down here so uh, right now it's still long and if you see a break on the four hourly chart let me draw the line differently for you like this okay first touches up there and you see your first setups over here then you can look for longs against the main trend target that line for now and on the higher time frame later on of course 206 or depending on the volatility uh, some other pairs here horizontal support GBP New Zealand dollar it's coming back so only trading between support and resistance and lower time frames I don't really like the chart much gold we expect it after all the bounces still short breaking this wedge so now we need to see the price touching this area maybe bouncing on here or if it's creating a lower point with other words four hourly chart entries only right now price is bouncing on the 3d6 and following the main trend and of course the lower it moves the less you risk because you never know uh, when you get this bigger retracement right so bounce rates aggressively lower risk every time you see another one two three on the four hourly chart and price moves more lower you risk less okay and if it's reaching this area you stop trading shorts and wait for a reaction there first New Zealand dollar US dollar hitting support and ideally would be good if it could move lower maybe another 56 or even 100 pips and then start spiking this was gi would give us a good excuse to actually look for big bounce trades and go long again right so we watch out closely um, we look closely here and we want to see this break in one two three something that is telling us after this break more conservatively of course to go long the aggressive traders wait for the spike and then according to the rules go long with their orders um, Australian dollar New Zealand dollar support hitting resistance coming back now what I don't like is that it was a steep move up and then it actually came down quickly and broke that line on the daily so there's no long here right now and short for short it's too late so we want to see something below here a retracement a one to three a lower low lower high something before we trade this pair okay 
I'll see you in the live room uh, on Tuesday. Uh, also, um, make sure you compare, uh, compare and combine this with your own analysis. And it would be great if you give me some feedback. Maybe comment something out below the video. We also changed the website a little bit, the design. Send me some emails if you like it, okay? Um, catch up with you soon. So have a wonderful Sunday and relax. And before Monday, don't touch any charts, right? Do something else. Go to the movies or so. Okay, bye for now.